Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam with the top news of the day. The search committee met in the second meeting to appoint the chief election commissioner and other election commissioners. The meeting held in the afternoon at the judge's lounge of the Supreme Court. Earlier, the first meeting was held on February 6th. The search committee was headed by Justice Ubaidul Hassan. At that meeting, it was decided that names to be asked from the political parties. The parties have already started submitting names. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokul Islam Alamgir said that the election commission formed on the recommendation of the inquiry committee would be aimed at bringing the Awami League to power again. He said this at a press conference at the party's Gulshan office on Tuesday afternoon. Meanwhile, the BNP Secretary General said that all the members of the search committee are directly and indirectly involved with the Awami League. Mirza Fokul said that Canadian human rights organization honored Khalid Azia with the title of Mother of Democracy. After attending father's funeral ceremony, four siblings couldn't return home as they were killed on the spot when a pickup van hit them at Chakoria in Cox's Bazaar. Four more people were ser seriously injured in the incident. One week after the passing of their father, the death of four brothers cast a shadow of mourning over the family. Four brothers of the same family were killed by a speeding pickup van in Dulaja Malumghat area of Chakriya on Cox's Bazaar, Chottagram Highway. Relatives said that father died a week ago. Today, they were returning home after ceremony at the crematorium. While crossing the road, a pickup van coming from Cox's Bazaar ran over them. The country's gross domestic product GDP grown growth by 6.94%. The per capita income of the country increased to about 2,20,000 taka. The planning minister made the disclosure after the meeting of the executive committee ECNEC of the National Economic Council. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina expressed her gratitude to the people of all walks of life for this achievement. The ECNEC meeting held in the NEC conference room. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina presided over the meeting virtually, joining from Ghana Bhavan. The meeting gave final approval to a total of 11 projects with an estimated expenditure of 37,507 crore takas. National Board of Revenue Chairman Abu Hena Muhammad Rahmatul Munim said that there is a plan to increase citizen survey and research to increase the tax coverage. He made the remarks at a pre-budget discussion at the Board of Revenue on Tuesday. At that time, journalists of the Economic Reporters Forum, an organization of journalists of Economy Bit, made several demands including infrastructural development of the National Board of Revenue and reduction of tax rate in the city corporation area to increase the scope of tax. Responding to a question, the NBR chairman said they have plans to intensify the NBR's initiative to bring foreign nationals under the tax net. Even after a valiant batting, Minister Dhaka lost the victory against Chattogram challengers by three runs. Chittagong lost the toss and elected to bat at the Silet International Cricket Stadium. After batting in reply, Dhaka had to concede defeat even after Tamim's unbeaten innings of 63 runs. In the end, Dhaka's innings stopped at 145 for six wickets. Shoiful Islam and Mitrunjoy Choudhury took two wickets each from Chattogram. Meanwhile, Fortune Borishal and Silet Sunrisers have faced in another match of the day. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.